Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy of Foot Health. Thank you so much for joining me today. So, I know in my last video I said that there wouldn't be any more cards in the 2021 holiday card series, and that is still the case. However, I've been taking a trip down memory lane and just re-watching some of the videos that I've made in the past holiday card series, just to kind of get some inspiration, just to see where I've been, just to just, just to be in a happy place. You guys know Christmas and the holiday season is my happy place. I love making Christmas cards and holiday cards. I'm just not able to right now. And rather than let that bring me down, I thought, let's go back because there's like six years of videos of holiday cards and I'm going to revisit some of my favorite ones with you. So you're going to get 24 card videos. Some of them maybe you've seen before. Some of them, maybe they're brand new to you, but I've picked 24 cards or card sets that I've made that I absolutely love. Um, this is this is not all of them, but I wanted to pick a couple from every year. So I'm going to share with you 24 different cards. And it's just going to be a trip down memory lane for me and hopefully for you as well. In the description box down below, I will leave a link to all of my holiday card playlist. That way you have tons of hours of videos to watch. Um, to get some more inspiration, etc. If you see me using products from Stampin' Up! or something like that, it's probably retired. You'll probably have to see if you can find it. Um, it's not going to be about the um, it's not going to be about the supplies. It's mostly going to be about the cards. I went through and I picked some of my most favorite cards that I've done. Um, of course, there, these this isn't all of them. <laughs> I I mean I really love most of the cards that I've done. So yeah. In these videos, there, there will be a giveaway connected with these videos. So all you have to do to enter is leave a comment down below. Um, it could be telling me about the card. It could be talking about your day. It could be just whatever you want to do. Um, please remember that these voiceovers are from the year I did the card. Some of them are in real time. So um, yeah, so it's not about the supplies necessarily. It's It's more about... It's more about just a trip, down, <laughs> a trip down memory lane, and I hope that makes sense. So yeah, video, uh, excuse me, the giveaway is open internationally. At the end of December, the, around the 1st of January, I will go through all 24 videos, pick random comments, um, and yeah, reach out to you so you can get your prize. Uh, can I think of anything else? No, I think that's it. So again, these are gonna be voiceovers or talk to talk throughs, etc. Um, all I've done is basically downloaded these to re-upload. So um, none of it's new. <laughs> all of it's in the past. The only thing that's gonna be new are the intros. So for this first one, I thought we would do um, a beginner friendly one. So this is a zero stamping card. I only use die cuts from Doodlebug and um, some snowflake dies and I created kind of like a, a faux neon card and I really love this the simplicity of this one but it's so bright and cheerful so yeah let's get into this before I forget make sure you check in the description box down below not only for the links to the past holiday card series but also a link to my Etsy shop I still have plenty of Christmas cards available and if you're interested um, I ship same day or next day that way they get to you as quickly as possible and I do ship internationally. Okay, let's head over and get ready. Excuse me, <laughs> we're not heading over to the, well, we're kind of heading over to the craft table. Let's, let's send it over to past me. How about that? Hey there everyone, it's Misty here from the Jolly Pet Elf. Happy Friday! Welcome to day number 16 in my 2018 holiday card series. Before I get started, I am using the Snowfall Thinlets today, and today is the absolute last day that you can pick these up, um, November 30th, and they will no longer be available after today. So make sure you get anything from the Snowfall, um, excuse me, Snowfall Showcase that you are interested in. So, or Snowflake Showcase, excuse me. <laughs> so for this card, I am using Poppy Parade, Balmy Blue, Lemon Lime Twist, and Melon Mambo to cut out various um, of the little um, snowflakes. And once I got them all 
um, put onto a piece of paper. I then back them with the adhesive sheets and ran them through my Big Shot. So here I'm adding a piece of Whisper White card um, stock to my card base. This is a piece of basic black that measures four and a quarter by 11. I've squirted at five and a half. And I am using a couple of pieces from the Doodle Buds doodle bugs odds and ends and um, i wanted to create kind of like a snowy scene very reminiscent of phony on friday for those of you who have been with me for a hot minute um, i just love the colors in these doodle bug packs and the colors from the christmas bulbs on the tree are the colors that i picked to go with um, so like i said i picked balmy blue melon mambo poppy parade and then lemon lime twist so I used the largest and the next to largest stitched oval from the stitched oval framelits to cut out what is going to be um, snowy heels. I don't have a snowy heel die. If Santa wants to bring that to me for Christmas, that would be like so nice. <laughs> Stitch toe border die, whatever they're called. Maybe I should put that on my Christmas list. Um, so yeah, so I used this oval to cut out... Um, or these dies to cut out what is going to be my snowy embankments. And I it's hard to see here because of the lighting, but I used a piece of the whisper. It's not whisper white. It used to be dazzling diamonds glimmer paper, but I can't remember what they call it anymore. But like always, all the supplies will be linked down below and they'll also be over on the coordinating blog post, which you can find also linked down below. This card will also be for sale um, along with a ton of other cards. So if you're interested, make sure you check that out. So here I am adhering the cute little snowman. He's kind of what inspired this whole entire um, card. I love that he's kind of reaching his arms up like he's waiting for more snow to fall down. And you guys know me. I'm a huge fan of non-traditional Christmas cards. And this one I really, really love. And again, I did phony on Friday for months and months. And so this is a color combo that I don't know that I would ever tire of. So... Once I get, sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame, but I'm just adhering down the ovals to make my embankments. And once I've done that, then I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensional adhesive to the back of my little snow dude. And I'm going to add a lot. Um, since he's going to be touching that glimmer paper, I want to make sure that he has some strong adhesive. Now, this glimmer paper is the new one that doesn't shed. So it's not nearly as bad as the last glimmer paper that we had here at Stampin' Up!, but um, I still want to add extra adhesive. And again, I sell these to you guys and I don't want you guys to get a card and it fall completely apart. So I've used the largest oval for the left and for the partially on the right. And now I'm going to use a smaller oval to create a little embankment for in front of the snowman. He's so stinking cute. Now, one thing that I didn't do beforehand, which I should have done, and I should have known better because I knew I was going to put Winkastella on this card, is I should have covered the cardstock in Winkastella before putting the snowflakes on and die cutting um, because in the end, it made it a little bit difficult. It wasn't that big of a deal, but if you were going to make this card, uh, make sure you do that first if you're going to add Winkastella. Um, it's Christmas. How can I not add Winkastella? <laughs> Ah, oh, I need to invest in Winkastella. So here I'm just going to go ahead and keep going with the snowflakes. Um, using the adhesive sheets makes this so easy rather than trying to deal with glue. And you guys know me. I'm already messy enough as it is. I don't need to add glue into the mix. So um, if you don't have the multi-purpose adhesive, excuse me, adhesive sheets, you should pick some up. I'm using the Seasons Greeting Sentiment from the Doodlebug Odds and Ends. Um, that's the same pack where this snowman and the tree came from. This is from this year's, um, I believe it's called Christmas Town. I showed this in my haul. I think it was on Tuesday. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday. So if you missed that, um, make sure you check that out. So I was using my scissors to poke out a couple of things. So I could put this down. And then I was like, where am I going to put it? This was That was what took the hardest time was trying to decide where I was going to put all of the snowflakes because I wanted them to look a little bit random and then I didn't want colors beside each other. I did cut out seven and so there was an odd number of them. So I think that helped. But yeah, these like I, I almost always sell everything um, once it retires from stamping up. But this just may be something I keep because... 
all of, I mean, there's just so many snowflakes. Um, and if you're interested, oh, and you let me know in the comments down below if you think I should have kept this no much fun or um, you would have left it off. But if you're interested in these magnetic sheets, I will link them down below. I got them from Amazon. Um, I think they're four by six, but they're fantastic. I love them. I know you can also get them from Stampin' Storage and you can also buy like vent covers, I think. So I felt like this needed something on the left and I didn't after not adding that sentiment, I decided to add this cute little bird. Um, the colors match perfectly, and of course, it's Doodlebug illustration, and it's just so stinking cute. I just love it. So here I am adding the aforementioned Wink Estella. So like I mentioned, today is the absolute, absolute last day to get this, so make sure you pick it up. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who may enjoy it, help me get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I would love to, that way we can have a huge giveaway. I haven't had a giveaway in forever. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I was hoping I would have another haul for you, but my um, packages are in purgatory somewhere. So <laughs> look for a bonus video from me this weekend maybe. And if not, I'll see you Monday with another card in the 2018 holiday card series. Have a great one and happy December 1st. Bye for now.